All right, so we got Shane Freeman of CrewBrandLLC.com. Basically, what we're doing today is we're raising brand awareness for Autism Month. Next month is Autism Month. So what we want to do is we actually not only want to make shoes that are going to help uh, a different demographic of people, but we're actually raising money for families that are in need. So what's going to happen is every time this pair is purchased, it's going to uh, Autism Speaks, which is actually an organization for uh, that advocates for families that are in need. So whether they need educational tools, um, whether they need rent, water, anything to eat at the home, we can write a check to them so that they give out to the individual families that need them. What uh, what kind of inspired you to make this sneaker? Okay, so what inspired me to make this sneaker was this sneaker. Now this sneaker is actually called the autism, or this one is actually for um, uh, suicide awareness. I actually was going through a lot in my life back in August of 2021. My mom passed away from diabetes type one made a type one shoe as well. Uh, what ended up happening is, I was designing shoes and I was like, what can I do that's gonna be positive, but it's gonna be something with people who lose people or they feel mentally off. How can I help other people other than just making cool shoes? So what I decided was, not only are we gonna make shoes, we're gonna give back after we make every uh, shoe sold. So all of these have different um, awarenesses and we give back to each and every one of them. Like Susan B. Coleman, uh, we'll be giving away to the American Red Cross, uh, Autism Speaks. Uh, we are working with a company right now for uh, the diabetes and as well. We just got confirmed for the um, National Mental Health Awareness USA. They're based in New York City. What they do is they advocate and they find resources. They'll just walk up to you, give you a uh, couple of dollars if you need something to eat as a homeless person. Anything, hey, uh, if you guys need resources, if you have any mental issues. Most people don't want to say they have any issues. We all know someone who has some type of issue in life. So instead of just making cool shoes for you to walk away with and I just go profit the money and buy, and buy a patio in my backyard or something, I'm actually going to just give the money to somebody who really needs it just so that we can continue to create together. Nice, nice. You're not taking any money from this percentage we only take a small percentage from it the rest of this money is all given to the organizations that need them oh, wow. so when we get done selling these more than 50 percent of that money is going to the families who need it what's very yeah, uh what's, what's very dope is that you turn your situation you made it a positive so that's definitely something that is commendable because i know that wasn't easy going through right. what you went through i mean and then to come out and do this this is very very just dope I appreciate it. I really just, I started making shoes mainly because when, uh, I, I was in detention class drawing shoes. I wasn't even paying attention in class. They asked me, well, what do you want to do with your life? I'm in detention already. I'm like, well, I want to make sneakers. So I'm going to go to sneaker school or I'm going to go to design school. I'm going to start making clothes and I'm going to start making sneakers. The same guy that gave me the detention was my basketball coach. He laughed at me and he said, oh, we'll see. 11 years later, Sir, I have my sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell him in the camera, he has his sneaker. We have the sneaker. <laughs> it's like, so all we're doing is we're just trying to help others that need it. But at the same time, there's going to be somebody in the world that's going to want to make a sneaker. They're not Nike. Right. They're not Jordan. They're not Asic. And they could look just like us. But they don't want to get ridiculed or done like, I don't know, Yeezy or something like that because they're not uh, up to the regular standard. Right. The crazy part is everyone in here is going to take their money and go do whatever we do. Right. right. We're going to take this money and give half of it back into production to make more shoes. And then the other half, we're just going to give the families who need it. Yeah, everybody not doing no, that. Yeah. And that's the thing. What We're making shoes off of uh, selflessness, not being selfish. What's uh, next on the horizon for you after? So after you make your shoes, is there any another project that well, you want to do or yeah? Uh, of? So right now, what we're doing is we're actually trying to start a benefit. So every year we can have a benefit for um, like uh, school, back to school. So we really want to take some of this money as well that we make over the summertime, and we want to start a uh, fund to where we can go in the inner city of Central Illinois and we can hand out uh, backpacks, uh, anything, supplies that they need, not just in our hometown. We want to actually create the standard and go to other people's hometowns. We're not from Chicago, but we can come to Chicago and we can give and we can go back. 
that doesn't take away from us, that gives. So all we want to do is just create, give, spread awareness, and wear fresh shit. <laughs> dope, dope. That's nice. Are you worried about lawsuits? Nope, I already know all the education with the lawsuits. I wouldn't these even look the similar to a certain shoe. Yeah, but this is the thing. No How do you get around that? Uh, it's, it's called a patent. They look it's very similar to a, a, a popular shoe, though. So how do you, you get away start with somewhere. it? <laughs> hey, Jordan. Hey, I, I'm gonna put it out there. No one said anything to Nike when they were out there copying Asics making running shoes. Mm. Oh. I know. I know all the history. I know all the information. So we can do. They're going through a battle. Days. They're going through a battle <laughs> right now. That's why I asked. So this is the. So I'm gonna give y'all the tea with that. So this is the thing. The reason why Nike's having such a hard time, like, con like getting people that are making these shoes is because there's a there's a two patent law there's a patent law that goes for only 20 years in the united states there's also mm. a patent law overseas if they only pay for the patent in the united states they actually have to catch up with you so if they don't even know that you have a brand they're not even looking for you they're not looking for you until you're making like a million dollars right right so we got like let's i don't want to throw anybody out there but you got omi and a hellcat you got cool cop yep yeah they're all copy infringement right now but they're getting past it because the infringements overseas don't apply to the people who are making our shoes. So we oh, come here, okay. so they basically backdoor Nike <laughs> and they give us our shoes. You can't really be mad at us for taking advantage and creating our things. So as long as it's made overseas, you're all good. Exactly. So the thing is, and I want, and I want this to be clear, Nike, if you're listening to this. <laughs> We're not gonna make these forever, okay? We're we're working we're we're working on a running shoe. We oh, okay. Right. We we're in the we're all in the gym three times a week. We're working on slides. We're working on uh, an actual trainer shoe that's not from Asics, maybe. Okay. So, okay. So okay, I can hoop in these. These are good to yeah. hoop in. We've done. We've. Uh, I've had people uh, hoop in them. I've had people work out in them. I've had people. <laughs> I had somebody play football in these, like tackle football. Okay. And they said, bro, they were like, they stayed on my foot. They were endurance. Uh, I love them. I want another pair. They're like, cause you know, I mean, I already got them dirty, so right. I want another pair. Okay. What's your retail price? So the retail price online, they're going for one ninety nine. This weekend only, they are going for one fifty. Did anybody tell you, whoa, that's kind of high for your shoe just starting out? No, not really, because for you to come here and to buy a $400 Jordan, and we're telling you we're giving the money to people who really need it. People don't care about that. Right. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> we, well, we do, so I guess that's the difference. Right. right. <laughs> besides, you know what, besides, the, and this is great, what inspired you, or what sneaker inspired you growing up, or a sneaker that you looked at, and you're like, man, Air I love one. Air Force oh, thank one. you. Not, not a say, dunk? Nope. Thank you. Really relevant to me. Thank you. The Air Force One, the all white, the all white Air Force Ones, the 07 editions, preferred. <laughs> Those are the ones that changed the trajectory of everybody's uh, neighborhood, everybody's school. The 07? The 07 if, Air Force? If you didn't have the Air Force Ones. When did Nelly drop? Yep. Air, air, it's like year the, was it? yeah, Nell, Nelly was so upset about that. He wanted he wanted <laughs> he to wanted charge it. Nike over that because right. he grew up the brand awareness. Yeah, they made the shoes were only eighty dollars. Yep. After yeah, that, like a hundred dollars. They right? added an extra twenty bucks. Yeah, when so that song like, came out, price went up. Exactly. So you got to think about it. Right now, I don't want to name drop too much, but yeah. right now, after this show, we already got TSF Business ready to wear our shoes. So peso peso, he wants to wear them. Sauce not familiar. Walker, they're uh, Sauce Walker, like they're they're. Oh, I'm familiar with them. Yep, they they've seen these shoes already. They love the shoes, and I mean you gotta think about it. They like high shoes. Like right. <laughs> the only difference is is that realistically, everyone um, the the difference is everyone wants something different, but not just with the colorways, with the textures. Really, at the end of the day, to be a real true shoe brand owner. It's all about the materials, baby. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, all for about sure. the materials. Yeah, because at the end of the day, if I can make a sustainable shoe and I can make the materials to where the materials last long, right. you could always take the bottom off, re put it back on. It's like, and they'll always be resellable. You always be able to reuse them. So, like I said, the difference is, and on top of that, I want to say this too. When I was a kid, the reason why I say Air Force Ones, when I was a kid, my mom couldn't afford them. 
my dad was in Atlanta. He had his own business. He was doing his own thing. My mom had to do everything for us. So I started using my uh, skills to switch up clothes. So no one ever knew I had the same clothes on because I always switched it up. I even put on a different shoe if I had to. I used to buy the Stephen Marbury shoes from Stephen Berry's because I couldn't afford yep. yeah. over $50. Nin 1999. Yep. 1999. Go mow the lawns, get three pair of shoes for $45. That's yep. the deal. So it's like no matter if they only gonna last two weeks, but it's the principle of the fact I couldn't afford them. So I decided I wanted to make some, not only that I could afford, but they're gonna go to an actual organization or gonna help somebody. The last time I seen anything like this similar to a Jordan or a Nike is Thornbeck. When was the last time you saw a Thornbeck? <laughs> exactly. We are the Thornbecker of shoes. Period. We are the Thornbecker of shoes. Um, we work hand in hand with these ribbon companies uh, and we're just going to keep building from here. At the end of the day, if there was one thing that I could give any advice, maybe there's a kid that wants to make clothes, wants to make shoes, man, I don't know how to get into it. How did you do it? I'm from a small town. Like I said, I had a lot of adversities, only had one parent in the household. What I did was I stayed true to my craft. Had plenty of nights up hustling, crying 95 degrees in the house can't think straight. How do I figure this out? I wanted to do this really so that I could get my mom in a better place in life. It was never about me. So now that I don't have my mom, unfortunately, all I can do is I can do this, but then at the same time, I can help other families besides just my family. God bless. God bless. We appreciate, appreciate your time. It, appreciate Thank you, guys. You. Much love. Thank you, much love. Appreciate it. Appreciate uh, you, guys. Can we get a picture? Yeah. yeah. Picture. Hey, can we get a picture? Yo, uh, we back. Shout out to Crew Brand and their Crew Brand, LLC. Uh, inspirational story. Q yeah, Brand LLC. They doing it for a good cause, man. Very Donating good cause. half the proceeds back. Um, Everybody out here ain't doing that, man. Nah, man. That's, mad, that's mad, to see. mad uh, success, man. You know what I'm saying? So we still walking around. We still It's still getting crowded. Yeah, it's still a line out there. A line around the corner. Oh, it's a line? Oh, Hell shit. yeah. Uh, they got food here. Gonna hand out the rest of these stickers. Right, definitely do that. Get up out of here. Sports yeah. life and hip hop. Sports life and hip hop. We see you in a bit. Can we interview you real quick, bro? Yeah, yeah. Okay, What's cool. Up, How you doing, man? Rick. Famo, dog. Famo, bro. Yeah. Yo, so sports life and hip hop. We got. What's up? This your boy Famo, man, in the building, man. <laughs> What's happening? Yo, so I see you got some sneakers. 85, man. At that heat. <laughs> ain't gonna come with nothing else, man. Well, first of all, I see you with the Deodora joints. Oh, Deodora I, I, joints. I, I, I had to go old school, you know. <laughs> Yo. You know? You just looking to sell or to buy? I'm selling these boys, man. You ain't trying to buy nothing here? Oh, let me see if this is my man. Am I trying to buy some? No, I'm selling these, man. Come get them off my hand, bro. <laughs> How much? Man, uh... Make me an offer, man. I don't know. <laughs> That's all, bro. They, they priceless, baby. They priceless. Why are you getting rid of them? Because, man, uh, daughter need a new pair of uh, hooper shoes. You know what I'm saying? Them your daughter's shoes or yeah, yours? She need a new pair of hooper shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. High school, college? She in she, uh, grammar school. She 10. Oh, okay. Tell, tell people where you what you doing, where you going to be at. Man, I'm everywhere, man. I'm comedian famo, man. I'll be at Riddles. Everywhere, man. You might see me anywhere. Comedian Famo on Instagram, man. Facebook. Look me up, man. All my shows be posted up. We getting it in. You see how we doing? We coming with that heat. Appreciate it, man. All right, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. Man. My man, man. Y'all support them, man. Y'all keep supporting my man now. Hey, big things about to happen, man. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate it, bro. Man. Thank you. All right. So, sports life and hip hop. We see a lot of sneakers today, right? But one of the most interesting things I've seen today is the Michael Jordan Wheaties box. Like this is from like kid. He got the box top, the, the bed. Cereal is still in here. Cereal still in there, man. Tell people who you are. Uh, you can find us at Mason himself on Instagram. We're from uh, Columbus, Indiana. We travel here. Is it That's your here? brand. Yeah, it's our it's our stuff. We got teas. How much? How much for the cereal box? Everything negotiable? Probably yeah, it's always negotiable. Probably like start at like a hundred. Hundred? Yeah, per box. Wow. 
It's got the Betty Crocker <laughs> catalog points yeah, on it. Yeah, that's the you real. You don't see that anymore. Nah, man. And it. No, no, no. You done? <laughs> I'm afraid to see what it looked like in there. Yo, this this is real OG, man. That's crazy. not that much. I'm sure the sugar content is way higher on Wheaties <laughs> now. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Yeah, this classic stuff That's right classic here. Classic right here. Oh, yeah. I got these hanging in my car. No, you don't, man. They, they ain't red they, no more. No, nah, they're not red. They beat up. <laughs> appreciate Mason, man. Appreciate Mason. <laughs> now that's dope, yo. That's dope. So what made you, what made you decide, man? I should keep this box from 1985. Oh, I just, I bought them uh, in a gas station like two months ago, and I seen them. I had to grab them, bro. Dude, it was in a like, gas station. Yeah, the the owner had them like up on a shelf, and they had a signed Larry Bird box. But I, I passed on the Larry Bird box, but I got these. He had them up for sale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh yeah, that's a good come that's up. A, that's a good come up. Hell <laughs> the yeah. Gas station, that's random as hell. Yeah. Appreciate it. Alright, bro. Wow. Wow. We came, we saw, we conquered. First of many. First of many sneaker, sneaker fest Chicago. Pretty dope. Uh, learned a lot. Yeah. Learned a lot. Um, learned learned I, the, the the art of haggling. Also, uh, I definitely had the most unique sneaker in there. I'll say that. Yeah. He, nobody was was in no, there with his shoe. You, nobody I, was rocking I give my him sneakers. That. Some Adidas NMDs. Uh, shout out to Pharrell. Um, but it was cool. It was enjoyable. I uh, enjoyed myself. I didn't buy any sneakers. Didn't need to. I had most of the stuff they had there. I half-assed tried to sell these, <laughs> but on the big, no, big feet guys, no, you ain't got a chance here. And uh, as you can see, people still coming in. So yeah, that you know line's still long over there. That line's still crazy. This Coney's cold. Yeah, that line's still crazy. But uh, sports life and hip hop, we're gonna bring more stuff to y'all. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, shout out to uh, Billionaire Mike. Um, shout out to uh, Chicago. Back next year? Yeah, we'll be back next year. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you guys next year. See Sneaker you guys Fest. next year. Sneaker Fest 2024 next year. Peace, peace.